Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. On the stand today I've got my newly acquired MDS 148 two-stroke engine. Uh, a few days ago, a week or so ago, I did a box or an inside look on this engine and determined that it was not a new engine and there were a couple of minor little issues with it. But I have it on the stand for the first time I've ever tried to run this engine. I've got a Zor 17.7 prop on here and an RC long plug with an idle bar and some Omega 5% fuel. That's what I'm going to use for this first run. Now the reason I'm using this 17.7 prop is because it's one of the same props I use for a lot of my other 150 size uh, two-stroke engines, the Irvine 150, the Aviastar 150. So I thought I'd just keep it the same there. Now this engine, I did determine that it has, it's not new in box. It has been run, but I have no idea how much. So we'll see how she does. Okay, so that was an interesting first run to say the least. 
Um, it ran, but uh, really kind of made some noise. Seemed like it had a lot of vibration. I was noticing low speed, or was it high speed? I don't know, some place there seemed like a lot of vibration. I saw a lot of bubbling in this fuel tank and it's on a padded foam platform. But it was almost making sounds like it was knocking, like a four-stroke knocks, which was weird. Um, obviously, I had it. I got the high-speed needle too lean there, and that's why it shut down those two times. Um, I don't know. It was all right. I mean, obviously, that low-speed adjustment needs a little bit more adjusting, but that, the screw is really recessed in there, and I really need to uh, get a longer screwdriver to see if I can get in there and get on it. And it seems like this carb barrel has some in play also that tends to uh, change settings as you're sticking the screwdriver in there and pushing on it to adjust it so that's kind of an odd thing too I may just end up you know leaning it just a hair on a low speed now while it's not running and then open the high speed some and try and tune it in like that but I mean the engine ran and like I said I have no idea how many runs it had on it maybe that was just the second run and maybe I was running it too hard I don't know I really couldn't tell by looking at the engine all I could tell was that it had been run but it hand starts really nice um, if you over prime it like I did the first time <coughs> it wants to toss that prop and that loosened up so I'm glad I have a double nut on there but I mean I'll play with this some more I'll tweak it out uh, the thing with the carb o-ring that I've got here is in reality when I looked at the manual the carb o-ring is supposed to be inside the crankcase there's a groove in there uh, when I did my look inside there was just red RTV sealant on this and I just found a carb an o-ring that fit on the outside of the carb that seals it really well and it seals it fine but that's not the right o-ring for it I didn't have an o-ring that was a small enough diameter to fit inside that groove on the inside so I don't think that is really a contributing factor to how it was just running because it's sealed really well it draws fuel extremely well there's no leaks so that RTV that was put on there by a previous owner was really not necessary um, the engine runs I don't know if it just needs more break-in or just a little bit more of my time uh, playing with it but anyway pretty decent looking engine and it ran all all right so we'll keep playing with it